is Simulating Reality, the Role of Computer-Aided Engineering and Simulation in Manufacturing Intelligence. Thanks for joining us today on HXGN TV. I'm your host, Bridget Benedetti, and today we're discussing the role of simulation and CAE in smart manufacturing with Norbert Honka, Paolo Guglielmini, and Dominic Galello. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So, Dominic, let's start with you. Could you give us an overview of MSC and tell us what the company is doing? Sure. Well, MSC is a simulation company. We make simulation from acoustics to structural simulation to vehicle dynamics. We're one of the 10 oldest com companies in software in the world and we really, in fact, commercialize computer-aided engineering. We have customers from aerospace to automotive to machinery to electronics, and we have um, uh, just a, a rich range of products. So, um, you've told me a little bit about the customers that you're supporting, and uh, it's, you alluded to a broad range of uh, product portfolio. Can you tell us a little bit more about the products? Sure, uh, again, it is broad, so I won't get into detail, but sure. basically, um, let's say an automobile at a system level, how it behaves, or if you've flown the A380, we make it quiet from a system level, but we also go down to the microstructure level, you know, inside the wing, the carbon fiber, the reinforced plastics, those types of things. So really from the microstructure level of materials to the manufacturing processes to finally the entire vehicle and how it performs, considering all of the environmental, what's going on around it, the events around it. That is really impressive. So Norbert, let's turn to you. Uh, yep. MSC was a very big acquisition for, for Hexagon. Why did you decide to bring this company on board? We were looking into the simulation world and found very clearly we needed someone who is a technology leader. And as Dominique already mentioned, the broad spectrum of products, for example, or the long history as well by itself was a clear uh, point uh, to be interested from our side. On top of things is the customer base. I mean, we have so much similarity between us in the automotive or in the aerospace world. So it was a natural thing to think about that MSC should join us. And by the way, they are nice guys as well. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure they are. Um, so I know it is still early. How do you see them fitting into the manufacturing intelligence story? Yeah, as uh, we are talking since a while that uh, we want to get the real world and the virtual world much closer together. And that is, I think, a real cornerstone from our point of view. And you have heard yesterday all last keynotes as well about seamless. Every ha everything has to be seamless. And I think this is what we are looking for. And I think MSC will play a major role into this. Fantastic. Uh, Dominic, how about you from an MSC perspective? What potential do you see? Well, I see lots of potential. Maybe three quick ones is, first of all, Hexagon is a very technology-rich company, and I actually think our teams are going to share technologies immediately. The second is, we're really a leader in autonomous vehicle simulation, and obviously the data capture with the Hexagon technologies connected with our virtual simulation perfect. And then finally, in 3D printing, so-called additive manufacturing, it's a big market, mm. but the fact is that subtractive manufacturing and metrology are very well connected real-time in situ. It hasn't happened yet in 3D printing, and I think those are the kinds of yes. things that we can invent mm -hmm. as companies together. Yeah. Excellent. And, and Paolo, let's talk about technology. Sure. Uh, what kind of synergies do you see between Hexagon and um, MSC technologies? I mean, I think on a, at, a, at a high level, when you look at the role that MSC plays in the design and engineering space, is really a validation of a virtual model and an improvement of that virtual model through the learnings of the simulation, which is similarly to the role that Hexagon, the core of Hexagon uh, MI, plays at the manufacturing level, which is basically a validation of the manufacturing process, the assembly process, and the quality of these discrete components. Uh, we believe that there's a lot of potential in bringing some of the learnings that we capture at the manufacturing level back into design. I mean, we know that uh, design impacts very broadly, for instance, cost from a, from a process mm. execution perspective. So I think that re-injecting some of the learnings into the design for improvement and incremental improvement, I think that can be uh, achievable and extremely critical. At the same time, we would like to apply simulation technology onto measured components rather than a virtual model. And we believe that that can really help predicting performance of components in field. 
Um, when you look still at the synergistic um, uh, opportunities, as, as Dominic was mentioning, additive is certainly one. I mean, additive still is a fairly um, unstable type of process. It's a new technology that has been around for a very long time, but now captures its full potential thanks right. to uh, innovation. I think the potential of marrying the process uh, simulation with in situ, in process inspection, and as built inspection is really unique, and we have a very um, uh, ideal portfolio under the Hexagon MI wing today. And then when you look at composites, that can be certainly another area where we want to look for touch points. Absolutely, so interesting. And, and the two companies share a large uh, customer base. There, there's a lot of crossover there. Um, what kind of value do you hope to add to the customer base? Uh, I mean, I believe the, the synergies that Dominic and I have talked about certainly are areas in which we're going to focus. When you look at the customer overlap, MSC is in a unique spot and probably is the best possible simulation house that we could have dreamt of in terms of marrying that with our uh, customer base. I mean, I think we share, in terms of revenue, something like 70% of our revenue comes both from automotive and aerospace. If you look at their 3,000 plus customer, we probably are in the similar range of Great. customer overlap. The fact of touching these customers from a design and engineering perspective versus a manufacturing perspective really gets you in a great position if you want to leverage these synergies. Oh, sounds good, sounds good. Um, now, Dominic did tell us a lot about all the different uh, products in the portfolio. Maybe you could pick out one or two that, has, uh, that have particularly exciting potential. Um, yeah, uh, from a non-expert uh, perspective by all means, I think that what they have done with the development of Apex is extremely promising, is really the next generation uh, within the core simulation products. The tight integration of CAD with meshing, with analysis is, is certainly uh, a great opportunity uh, for engineers. When you look at the marriage between uh, Virus and environmental simulation and Adam's car simulation. As Dominic was saying, the opportunity of joining them up with some of our sensing devices really creates an opportunity. It's something that we're all very excited about. And we're going to have sessions here at Exagon Live to go through uh, some of the details of what we're working on. Uh, and then I would certainly say on the composites and additive uh, level, the technology of Extreme. And Simufact, it's something that all of us are looking forward to understand more and share and approach customers about. Absolutely, absolutely. So finally, Norbert, maybe some last words for you, from you. Um, MSC Software was the latest in a number of acquisitions mm -hmm. that increased the um, touch points in the manufacturing process. What's the long-term vision? I mean, you have heard from both of them what we have in mind as well short-term, to find synergies from my point of view. And yes. uh, some say po possible um, solution we already mentioned from my point of view. Besides that, we are looking still long term into the manufacturing process and thinking about data driven manufacturing ecosystems from my point of view. And that needs a lot of touch points. One of them is CE. Uh, I think we thinking about other touch points as well to add. That means probably as well at one point in time a further acquisition as well. Interesting, thank you. We would like to thank our guests, Norbert Hanka. Paolo Guglielmini, and Dominic Galello. Thank you for watching HXGN TV. To learn more, visit msc-software.com or hexagonmi.com. This is Hexagon TV, and for watching more episodes, please visit hxgntv.com. Thank you for watching.